Hey guys, welcome to the video by DJ SPRC. Part 2 Mini 8 Shock Tower Carbon Fiber Rear. We're going to install this carbon fiber shock tower in the back. Now, what we're going to do is dismantle, remove the wing, should I say? Already started with one of the screws. Oop. Get started. Put the wing aside. A little bit like I did the front, I'm going to remove the bolts that holds the shock. But I'm not going to remove the physical shock off the vehicle. Now, what I'm going to do is look around what I need to remove. I'm going to pop the balls. Now I have to be careful when you do pop the back balls that your dry shaft might slip out. If they do, just don't forget to put them back. But what I'm going to do is remove the bottom screws off the diff. Not sure if you guys can see it, but both sides of the diff there's a screw that holds the shock tower in place. I'm going to do it a little bit different from uh, what I did for the front. Instead of removing piece by piece, I'm going to physically just remove the shock tower off the vehicle itself. Now, there's two more on top here. And the reason I'm doing this instead of removing piece by piece is because there's more pieces on this v the back end of the vehicle than the front. Now I'm going to keep the screws part of the holder here. Now I'm going to remove the shock and put it aside. Grab my back end and start transferring the pieces. One by one. There we go on one. That's done. Now we're going to remove the physical uh, body holder. And transfer it to the shock tower. Now, some people will say, why are you removing the shock tower and putting a carbon fiber? Carbon fiber is, a, it is stronger than metal. And a little bit more durable. But the only down point of carbon fiber compared like the aluminum one here is aluminum will bend. Car carbon fiber bends to a certain point then breaks. Uh, carbon fiber similar to fiberglass. If you ever seen fiberglass what happens uh, it breaks in million strands and carbon fiber is the same. But carbon fiber is nice to look at. Way nicer than this. I'll come back here and remove the balls. And again, I'm trying to remember where they are. You don't need to. If you want to do some experimenting with the vehicle, 
the handling of the vehicle and the performance. You can put them exactly where you want. Now bring back the vehicle and we're going to grab this piece here that we lift the screws on and attach it back to the vehicle. Now the way I'm doing it right now, basically without removing a lot of parts in the vehicle is just to make it easier on me than dismantling everything. If you feel you need to remove the A-arms off the vehicle, unbolt the shocks physically off the vehicle to be able to do this, go ahead. Do it the way you're comfy doing it. Now again, the dog bone popped out of this guy here. I'm gonna put it back in. Turn the wheel until it gets to the key part of the drive cup. There we go. Put my shock back in. And pop the ball. That way my dry shaft doesn't come out. There we go. Pop the ball back in. Pop the shock. Grab our two nuts. Tighten these guys back up. Confirm everything's solid in the back, it is. Then grab her wing. Put her wing back and bolt her back up. And there you go, guys. Rear shock tire, front shock tire done in carbon. If you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. Uh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. I do appreciate it, guys. Thank you.